so hello everyone welcome again to this youtube channel so this is the third video of apply tools tutorial series so in last video we have covered about that why functional test can't cover the visual issues so in this third video we are going to talk about that why we should go for automating visual testing so we understand that why visual testing is important and what is visual testing that we already covered in first and second video but now why it should be automated why it should not be covered manually so let's get started so why should it be automated so why visual testing should be automated the simple reason is that the test matrix is too big to cover it manually because of the explosion of new web browser in recent years new devices new operating systems it is very difficult to cover all the test metrics manually so because you understand that if application is working fine on a chrome browser it doesn't mean that it should be working fine on firefox or ie browser and if application is working fine on a white screen it doesn't mean that if it is working fine on a smartphone same goes with operating system if it is working fine on mac it doesn't mean that it should be working fine on windows so again if the application is responsive you have specifically made application to be responsive it doesn't mean that it should be working fine on different different screen sizes and if application is localized then you have to take care into account uh, the content and the different font and different images because the application is localized so that is the reason that it is very difficult to cover it manually so i have an example i'll show you i'll show you so for example you decided that you will cover the test metrics manually so what you need to consider is the five operating systems first thing windows mac os android ios chrome you have to take into account these five operating systems right then five popular browsers chrome chrome is for all the operating system right and firefox is also for the all operating systems and internet explorer is for windows only and microsoft as is for windows only and then safari is for mac only then you have to take care of two screen resolutions for mobile devices if you if, if it is meant to be made for mobile devices portrait and landscape mode then there is there are 10 standard mobile device display resolutions and 18 standard desktop laptop display resolutions from xga to 4g okay so if i calculate all the different different aspect that i have shared so 21 into 20 into 18 so it's equal to 798 unique screens you have to test for you have to test right so if you see here that this is for one web page if you have made one web page and you want to cover it manually you have to test it on 798 unique screens and i'm excluding localization testing here so you can understand from here that how difficult it will be to cover it manually because for one web page you have to test on 798 unique screens and it is not about full application it is just one web page so how difficult it would be if you want to cover it for full web application so that is the reason and i have one more reason to say that why we should uh, do it uh, why we should automate it so because of this reason because all the reputed and respectable companies are already doing it they have made a fantastic tools like docker has needle facebook have fb snapshot test case and uh, we have uh, web driver css phantom css so they have already made very fantastic tools and also they have they are sharing it with community so that's why visual testing should be automated so if you like the video so that's all from the video if you like the video Please do share with your friends. Thank you.